Alright, 1A522R just dropped their new reveal for the new pushback season. Well, now their name is uh, 10222R, so kind of got to get used to that. But the uh, video is called Push 20 Blocks at the same time, so I guess they can score 20 at the same time now. Pretty cool. This is new Start Robotics, and you can see, tell that my mic is a little bad today because uh, I'm on the bus currently to the UT Austin freshman orientation. That's a very unk thing to do, but yeah. Anyways, it's raining really hard right now, so hopefully I come out of this alive. Um, you know, with the Texas floods and everything, it's not been looking too hot. And I've actually gotten a couple couple amber alerts already on this bus, but anyways, let's, let's uh, no more yapping. Let's get straight into the the robot. Looking first thing I wanted to point out something pretty interesting is this front layer here, where they're using a cutout poly piece, right? They kind of used two poly pieces here, right? With the new poly rules, they still decided to it's a good idea to use two poly pieces here on the very front and they have um, utilized kind of a cutout here to have the the high strength shaft here right kind of move up and down which is kind of smart that's a lot less weight than having the whole intake move all together and they can also strengthen the intake much more by using triangle brace on the actual intake itself which is really smart i think a lot, a lot of teams might end up going to do that later this season um and you can see here this is their um like match load back here, the match load cup right there, and they have triangle bracing here as well, and they are using these uh, pretty standard now, um, like outside gears configuration. One thing I do want to point out is how this motor is configured, right? This gear is actually on the inside, which is kind of interesting, but the, how they're able to do this because the wheels aren't there, right? I think they're only running three wheel drive here, or sorry, three wheel on each side, uh, very clean battery placement as well and they're using a 5.5 watt motor so that means they're using two of them at least so anyways let's get further into it here is their kind of scoring cap here it looks like they have uh they're using of course these banded uh rollers these banded latex we with these mesh pads right which is what a lot of teams are going to be using of course we've seen that so many times already in over under and we've seen that in pushback again and looking here um, well, at first I wanted to just point out those banded rollers are just kind of good for any circular round objects which are, um, you know, plastic, whatever, right, poly, so in the future games if there's more balls or anything you could just use that. Um, looking at this, these are half cut 36 high strength which is really weird because Vex does allow you to use uh, a word, they do provide low strength which is thin but I guess they wanted that kind of rigidness alongside with the thin form factor, so they actually decided to half cut these 3016s high strength, which is a, a lot of extra work, but, you know, props to them. I think it turned out pretty clean. And then they also have really clean wire management there. Here is a better view of the of the intake. Right, so you can see the, the full mesh roller here configuration with the latex banding. Definitely wanted to get these latex banding. It's super, super strong. I think we used them in over-under which uh, worked really, really well. I think we used them for quite quite some time. Um, yeah, I think we might have... Did we use them two worlds? No, I, no, we used flex wheels at worlds. But yeah, we used these quite some time. I think we used them even at Kalahari. And these bands, or we used them at uh, Berkeley, I remember that. And they basically never snapped, right? Compared to regular rubber bands, they snap a lot. And these are very strong. And you don't need them, but the only problem is they don't they don't have a lot of grip to them themselves, which you don't really need if you're adding banded rollers over them anyways. And these work amazing, right? Just to tie them together on the on those sides. You can probably look up some over under bots to kind of get inspiration how to do that. But it's super nice. They're using these very low profile screws here. Pretty pretty nice. I mean, I don't think there's really a necessarily need for them right here, but um, just shows that you know they're putting more more thought into the design, I guess. And this. This looks like one third cut. This doesn't even look like half cut anymore. One third cut, 24 teeth, high strength gear, which is full steel, so that makes a lot of sense. And another another half cut, uh, 36. So yeah, very very nice. And you can see here, this is the full kind of look of their their robot here. Get a get a get a look, and then we're going to be kind of just going through this pretty fast here because I don't want to waste more time. Um, this is their match load mech. On here, I do. I do kind of understand why people might use these low profile screws. So yeah, these are yeah, very, very nice and bad robot. Okay, nice transition.
very cool transitions. And here is their two, two like active hoods here. One is for, of course, just regular scoring. I'm guessing this one's passive, and this one's active with pistons, right? This is very similar to string theory, where it can allow blocks to go both forward, out, and back into the to the uh, holder. And it looks like a lot of team teams are all turning their robots into kind of this very very fast scoring and very very fast out taking, or sorry, like um, unloading from the the basket as well. Super super quick, and I think that really they really kind of credit that to this top uh, stage here, the top. Um, top roller really helps that to get that block that like final velocity that's required to get it into the the tube right just fine nice transitions here oh, very cool with uh, the laptop playing the video bam yeah very nice reveal honestly and super good robot as well super super fast scoring this is one of the fastest scorings i've seen looking here at the the front level of their their intake though we get to see that they're using these um, ball bearings for these anti tips so that's a uh, interesting I think because you know that's a little bit heavy but you can honestly just use uh, you can honestly just use like spacers and you'll be fine honestly and on here you they're using latex bands, bands again kind of love latex bands and zip ties here throughout the whole whole uh, like bottom intake ramp here going up which is you know interesting I think that's pretty smart because I think latex bands kind of allow for that kind of compression and also um, kind of smoothness that you need want on a on intake ramp here they're using the flexible on the the match load mech which is smart because this allows them to kind of just roll it off the ground really easily and it even adds some friction to the ground so you don't get pushed that easily which is very nice anyways we're gonna kind of speed through the rest of this I don't want it to take too long um, very quick and taking there as you've seen and they have a full poly basket which is um, hardest to come by these days I think a lot of teams are using mesh for their basket but I think this is smart because you can really reduce the friction when it comes down when blocks are released and you can see that within their in the reveal earlier when they're outloading that really takes um, that to practice and kind of spends no time at all getting all those blocks back out very nice uh very nice like reveal quality here with the green screen i think on that it's super super fast thing just look at how fast that is that is insanely fast just blocks going in like crazy i'd love to see this bot at, at mall of america but i don't i doubt they'll be there anyways it's very fast scoring once again and here you can see that they have two of the same bots it's china what do you expect right so anyways they're gonna be scoring a full full tube I guess here in a couple seconds once again I think lining up is very very hard this season so you know that's something to focus on bam and bam right they scored the full tube there you go and that's all we have for for today thanks for watching